in tonight's sleep story for grown-ups. Fall asleep fast as you unlock the powers of your imagination. You are listening to The Fairy Garden, a guided sleep meditation and bedtime story set in a garden dripping in wisteria and Spanish moss in the charming village of Marincrest. Once a year, fairies appear in the gardens of those who believe in them. Douglas Gerald once wrote, Nothing can be truer than fairy wisdom. It is as true as sunbeams. On this inspiring night, you bask in fairy wisdom before you retreat to your cottage and fall asleep. It's time to dream away. I would like to welcome you to Michelle's Sanctuary. I am Michelle, and as you listen, think of me as your friend and advocate for serenity. Sometimes in life, it can be hard to advocate for ourselves, and my intention is to cheer you on and encourage you to take care of yourself. I hope that you may enjoy the sacred practice of coming down from the day and preparing for your journey to sleep and a night of restoration. Even when your thoughts wander and negativity creeps in, you have the power to let go of unpleasant thoughts to imagine better. You are the writer of the story of your life. You are the visionary for this experience. So customize it to fit your needs and desires before falling asleep and let go of my voice at any point if sleep beckons. As we begin a brief meditation Delve into your sense memories and remember a time when a soft wind offered reprieve like a tender caress of your skin. Perhaps it was a summer wind, a sea breeze, or a wind off a river. Let your breath take on the soothing characteristics of this gentle breeze as you exhale through pursed lips. Let everything go. Then slowly inhale through your nose so the air may be prepared and warmed before it's received by your lungs. As this onrush of oxygen inflates your torso, you send release to your muscles and joints. Now open your mouth in a yawn and then sigh, surrender, sink into your bed. Again, slowly inhale and savor the air that travels through your nose. When ready, open your mouth into a big yawn and then sigh. And as you do, Imagine your bed is transported to the heart of a mystical garden. Surrounded by curtains that hang from a canopy frame, you enjoy the tranquility of a summer night. A cool yet soft breeze billows the sheer fabric, and you could float across the sky in this vessel for sleep and at your own pace you enjoy one more round of conscious breathing as you inhale yawn sigh and prepare for a sleepy adventure as the story begins one of the most vital decisions you can make is the choice of what to believe in and what beliefs to shed 
when they no longer serve you and your life's purpose. And in this constant ebb and flow of change that comes with experience, empathy, and adventure, happiness and appreciation may grow when you drop the weight of the judgment of yourself and of others. The fluidity of life will help you gravitate towards pleasures and fulfillment that come with an open heart and a mind at peace. Some may choose to believe in fairies and magic and the mystical. Some may fear it. And some may simply be curious. But in the historic village of Marin Crest, there are far more believers than not. Perhaps the presence of fairies centuries ago made it hard for villagers to be anything but believers. Or perhaps the fairies remained because of the many believers. For why would anyone want to stay in a place where no one believed in them? The world is too vast to ever plant roots among poisonous doubts. When you can find rich soil and nurturing energy somewhere else. On this rare night, one fairy will visit each garden based on the needs of the souls who tend to that garden. Part of the fun is trying to guess which fairy will appear. Will it be the fairy of hope, fertility, love, abundance, peace, time, or healing. By midnight all the fairies convene, and the fairy of sleep scatters the village with fairy dust, so everyone may dream the dreams they are meant to dream. This night is unusually temperate for the peak of summer, and the villagers come out to enjoy the sunset on their porches and in their gardens. An ocean breeze has swept away all the mosquitoes, and the air smells of salt water and charred wood as fire pits become centerpieces for evening gatherings. It is the perfect weather for a visit from the fairies. Most of the village homes are Cape Cod style cottages dressed in colorful shutters and cascading ivy and surrounded by picket fences. The quaint homes are perched atop a tall hill that rolls into Main Street and a marina. The location offers a vista of memorable sunsets, glittering sapphire ocean waves, and the white sails of docked boats. With gabled roofs, the wide symmetrical homes have weathered wooden shingles as facades. Some are painted or stained in hues such as periwinkle, lavender, slate gray, and sandy brown. Aged by time and the salty air, the colors have faded beautifully like a pair of well-worn stonewashed jeans. The flowing flora of Marin Crest matches the energy of the sea. As you walk, you feel a sense of fluidity as the fabric of your clothes rustles like the tails of a kite on the breeze. The sounds of laughter and summer tunes played in backyard gatherings create a soundtrack for your walk. The fiery sun lowers behind the ocean and casts the village 
in tangerine honeyed light. The sky erupts in streaks of lava orange, metallic pink, ruby, and amethyst. Clouds like cotton candy swirls drift across patches of orange sherbet sky. The vibrant colors in the sky mirror the vibrant tones of shutters and doors on the historic cottages. The simple geometric shapes of the homes become extraordinary in the changing light and from the mystical energy of the village. You walk beneath a willow tree and thread the long willows between your fingers. They are cool and waxy to the touch, and some of them massage your back with the aid of the breeze. Fireflies appear as twilight sets in and flicker in neon yellow pops along the picket fences and freshly mowed lawns. You arrive at your cottage and sigh as your lips form a smile of gratitude and appreciation. A white metal arched trellis rises over the entrance and is covered in roses in your favorite hues. Sunflowers grow taller than you on each side of the trellis. You open the wooden fence door and the hinges softly squeal in a familiar tone that welcomes you home. Your nervous system regulates with ease whenever you return to the safety of this beloved property. You are free to be every expression of yourself and let go of any concerns from the outside world. The sunflowers, the roses, and the lush hydrangea bushes with silvery purple and Chelsea blue blossoms unapologetically steal the show and thrive at their own pace. Not once do these flowers question their birthright, nor do they slow their growth to please others. They shine and make you want to shine as well. Tonight you carry these ideas with you as you imagine a life where you always accept yourself fully where you grow at your pace and make choices based on what feels right and natural to you, based on what brings a sense of peace and calm. You walk around the cottage to the backyard. Spanish moss drapes over the branches of deciduous trees that have the green lushness afforded by summer. Sage, rosemary, mint, lemongrass, elderberries, oregano, and lavender grow in a healing garden decorated with small gnome statues made by a local artist. Mason jars filled with solar fairy lights illuminate the yard, and tiny twinkling golden lights cover a trellis that drips with wisteria. Fireflies scatter above the dark green grass. Dewdrops reflect the light like tiny magic balls. The twilight sky is a gradient of dark, soothing blue shades as silvery white stars appear and a crescent moon rises in the sky 
A beacon of light reflects on the wispy clouds in rhythmic pulses from the historic lighthouse at the tip of the Marin Crest Peninsula. Everything twinkles on this special night as if to assure the fairies they are welcome to come spread their light. The light against the darkness of night offers safety and hope. And it takes one source of light to spark the light in others. This idea haunts you in a good way as you imagine shining your beacon of light onto the world when you are at your most authentic. And you think of all the ways that positive stream can encourage others to shine their light as well. The night breeze rustles the leaves and willows of the trees in your yard. Sensing you are home, your beloved pet comes outside to join you using a pet door in the back. You take in a deep breath through your nose and make out the delicate aromatic notes of herbs, roses, wet grass, and the sweet and salty perfume of the ocean. And while the garden is beautiful enough without the fairies, their arrival will fill an unnoticed void. Like a love story in which a character had no idea he or she needed love until their person arrived and brought out the magic in the simple things. You walk to an enclosed bin that stores firewood and grab a lighter, a few pieces of kindling, and two logs that you carry to the fire pit in the center of the garden. A talented villager named Fred made the bowl of the fire pit out of hand-hammered copper that glistens like a penny thrown into a fountain. The copper bowl sits on a base of crisscrossing ebony beams. Your pet hops onto a chair as you get the fire started, feeling hopeful the fairies will soon arrive. Tiny sparks become roaring flames, and the dry wood crackles and pops as orange gold sparks take to the sky as another light-filled invitation. You sit in a plush outdoor chair and sink into the cushions. You inhale the night air and look around the garden. It becomes mystical at night. Darkness casts the hyacinths, lilies, and roses in a purple hue, while the twinkling lights add a gauzy, golden glow. For a moment, the village becomes still. The music stops, and conversations and laughter find a lull. The faint sounds of the ocean can be heard as a chorus of voices join them with a soft melody. It is the song of the fairies. You look to the sky and watch them fly overhead in a performative sweep through the village as they make their presence known. The fairies' glowing hues are otherworldly shimmering and iridescent jewel tones that are familiar and 
yet unique at the same time. You sit patiently and wait for the fairy to arrive. Your pet stirs, suddenly awakened from a brief slumber, so eager that their fur stands on its end. A fairy swoops down from the night sky, glowing in an ever-changing gradient of colors, from the soft blues of a morning sky to the rich pinks, oranges, and reds of sunset. She introduces herself as the fairy of time. The lights in the garden seem to glow brighter, and the fairy takes a moment to explore your labor of love and smell the sweet nectars of the flowers. Your pet hops down from the chair and follows closely behind her. She turns and laughs at your furry companion and then blows a handful of prismatic dust that lands on their fur. Your pet spins around eagerly and then becomes calm and complacent. The fairy of time plucks a small honeysuckle blossom and places it behind her ear before flying back to meet you. Her voice is hypnotic and comforting, and familiar in some way as if she has visited you before in a dream or in a different life. I come to visit you on this night because you seem to be grieving lost time. The world has been very different for you in recent years, but you must understand that not a moment was lost. There is still time for you to do all you wish to do. She flies around you and the sweet fruity aroma with a hint of citrus emanates from the honeysuckle. You inhale deeply and savor the fragrance. Like the fairy, the blossom is small yet powerful. The fairy waves her tiny hand before the fire. The translucent tangerine gold flames are the backdrop for a memory that plays upon them like a drive-in movie projected on a screen. You see yourself younger during a happy time when you felt free. You were confident in this moment, certain that you could tackle anything. You see yourself captured in this memory that represents all that you deeply love most about yourself. Not the things you were told to love or anything superficial, but the things that resonate deeply and cause your heart to stir and your lips to smile. The fairy says, the body does not know time. Something that happened years ago may be as fresh to you as something that happened today. Your body may feel memories intensely and unexpectedly. And these memories are awakened by smells, tastes, music, art, and things you do not anticipate. When it happens, let go of the unpleasant feelings and choose to ride the memories that bring you joy because all of them exist within you 
stored in the libraries of your cells and mind. You take in a deep breath, and rather than think about what she says, you feel it in your body. The gentle fluidity of the moment brings waves of beautiful sensations that brought you the most joy in this life. The fairy of time continues. Right now you are creating your future. Every thought and action you embrace in the present will define where you go. The flame becomes a golden mirror that reflects the fairy, you, and your pet at this moment. It overlaps the memory flames that continue to flicker and lick the night air. Sparks fly towards the starry sky. Now memory capsules that reveal your most beloved moments. You may be surprised by how simple these pleasures are. Rife with tactile sensations, flavors, smells, feelings, and important relationships that only you have experienced this way. The fairy flies behind you, and her tiny pink bow-shaped lips come close to your ear. She breathes and it causes goosebumps to form on your skin as electric energy travels down your spine and makes you feel alive. She whispers, imagine the world as you would like to see it. Dream up the things you hope to have in your life. There are no limits. This is your life and you get to choose. And in a dreamy state, the things you desire appear on a flame in the fire pit. You see yourself happy, healthy, and thriving. You are living life on your terms. You see the bigger picture and how all the challenges and moments of redirection led you to what you ultimately needed. The fairy takes your hand and asks you to stand in the firelight and the lustrous glow of the crescent moon. She hovers over the crown of your head showers you with fairy dust. But like the sparks of the fire, when you inspect the glittering dust, you realize each fragment is a miniature glowing clock set to a different time. Your body is radiant and you feel a sense of peace. Existing within this moment that encapsulates all of time. The fairy of time instructs you to close your eyes and cast your wishes for the things you seek. They may be tangible items, like a new home, a new garment, a new vehicle, or a new toy, or they may be experiences, relationships, adventures, or trips. They may be many things. There is no limit, for this is your wish to encompass all that you want to experience going forward. You take in a deep breath and sigh, feeling more relaxed and hopeful 
than you have felt in a long time. You feel the fairy's warm and tiny hand on your shoulder as her fluttering wings brush against your ear and cheek. She whispers, always remember every moment in time gives you the chance to make a new choice towards the life you deserve and the person you wish to be. Be kind to yourself, my dear. She then takes off towards the sky, as all the fairies do, and you are left in the firelight that burns into silvery magenta embers. Tiredness takes hold, and your body feels as if you have spent the day swimming and floating in the ocean. Your muscles are soft, and the coolness of the night air hits as the last embers of the fire go dark. You rise and walk through the grass to the back door of your cottage. Your pet follows and you open the creaking door into the kitchen. You remove your shoes and place them on a doormat. The shiny marine blue tiles of the kitchen floor feel cool against your bare feet. The soles of your feet float above the floor with each step. You glide through the dry air that smells sweetly of old books, pine, and fresh flowers in a crystal vase on the dining room table. You walk through the shadows and then the light from street lamps and the crescent moon that pour through the symmetrical windows in the living room. You ascend the stairs to the second floor with your pet so close on your heels that their soft fur brushes against your Achilles tendons and slightly tickles. With each step you become more and more tired, counting as you go. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You arrive at the landing and walk down a long, narrow hallway to your bedroom black and white photos in shiny silver frames line the wall, capturing moments of your life that you most cherish. You open the door into your cozy bedroom and walk to the window as your pet settles in a fluffy bed beneath it. You reach down to wish your beloved animal good night and offer one last pet. As you stand and peer out the window, you see the glittering ocean in the distance. You then look at the garden below as a small trail of gray smoke rises out of the fire pit. You look at the sky to see the sleep fairy showering the village in soporific fairy dust. It coats the garden, the neighboring houses, and the entire village until it shimmers like the surface of the moon. The words thank you come out of your mouth. An inaudible 
chorus of gratitude that comes spontaneously from everyone in the village of Marin Crest. You walk towards an antique dresser and pull out a heavy drawer to find your bedclothes. They smell of lavender from satchels of dried flowers placed in each drawer. You change into the soft, lightweight garments and then walk towards your bed. You peel back the heavy patchwork quilt and crisp sheet and climb atop the downy mattress. Your body races against the sleepy feeling that takes over fast to settle into the bed. Your head is heavy and your arms and legs and torso sink into the comforting mattress that contours to your body. You close your eyes and drift as if floating through time, as if floating on the waves of the sea, as you float towards the pleasant moments and wonderful choices that you will encounter with a new day. But for now, all you need to do surrender to sleep as you let go, embracing the night and all the wonders of the sanctuary of your mind, finding bliss, finding rest, finding peace, Finding sleep. It's time to dream away.